So Mark has had about yeah, two days rest and he got bored. So guess what we're doing? I have a pallet problem. So this is Marcus's uh, Christmas present. <laughs> He's decided he wants to build a big pen. And uh, yeah, these uh, pallets are gonna build it. Jeez, what's going on? You flavor testing. This is crazy. You found donuts. <laughs> well, Marcus, you done it this time. <laughs> you got the jackpot. In true Marcus style, we were all set to do the pig pen. And then he goes and gets a load of pig food and we have nowhere to put it or store it. I managed to give a fair bit away to other sort of pig farmers and things, uh, but we basically, we've got to put a hold on doing the pig pen and we've got to get back to doing the shed so that we can store the food for the pigs. How many donuts can a pig eat? Oh dear. One, daddy. Get the little pig. Here you go, little pig. It's a bagel. <laughs> I'm not sure how many times I've said that we're going to. Um, finish off doing the shelf on this side but it's actually finally happening because we've got so much pig food and we've got a piggy on the floor we do have a piggy on the yeah, floor we uh we've got so much pig food to store um we kind of need to just get our stuff together which is great because i really wanted to get this sorted and now marcus has to do it and golem this is enjoying the lovely sunny weather it's snowing very refreshing Run, as you run. Just out for a walk, nothing to see. <laughs> Snowing a fair bit. Having fun, Marcus. Yes, Bella. <laughs> so we've got some framing up already. Oh, it wouldn't be so bad if we weren't using old bits of strapping. Ow, stop oh, whinging. Yeah. Stop whinging. Look at that snow out there. Really gets the going. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite handy. A lot of this wood we uh, picked up yesterday with those pallets. It's an old tabletop. And now an old tabletop. Yeah. Reuse, repurpose, and recycle. Now I admit that is a rubbish piece of wood, but do you know what? It'll get us out of the jam till we get some better wood. Bridget's like our little Christmas elf. She's small enough to just put her on the top shelf. She's a good girl, you leave her alone. Don't distract her. Oh, Bridget, you're letting us down. Minus 12 this morning, so it's a bit chilly. But it's absolutely gorgeous and actually feel so much more alive than I do in the summer. Definitely a snow person rather than the sun. So we managed to get the um, trailer unloaded with all the food yesterday and got the garage sorted out or the shed sorted out so that we could get everything in. So I'm just gonna take you in and show you this project that's been long awaited. So the middle bit was completely empty. Um, so we've got room basically for pig food, but everything is a bit more organized. It's not perfect and there's stuff that Marcus needs to go through. Um, but uh, you can actually walk in here, which is great. Um, so the next thing now is to build like a little screw type shelf. He's got some different fixings and things. Um, so we can sort of clear off his temporary bench Obviously everything here is pretty temporary because we are planning to build a garage and do things properly. This is what we got the other night and this is all for making the pig run behind the shed. 
Um, so we're going to sort of solid board it. Pigs very much need to not be able to see outside, otherwise the temptation to uh, go through something is uh, increased somewhat. But yeah, it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Bridget's doing the rabbits, hanging them up. How are the bunnies this morning? Naughty, tipping over the water. Tipping the water over. Oh yeah, so we're not on the automatic waters anymore, are we? Now we're this cold. No. So they're all on, got little bowls. And of course everything freezes. So that's good fun, isn't it? Morning bunnies. Where is he? The chickens are coming. Come on, Gollum! Come on! Come on, Gollum! Come on! There's chickens in the way! Hi, Vicky! Hi, Vicky! <laughs> hey, baby! She thinks to scratch. How are you finding your home with the chickens? <laughs> Are they being nice? Not really. So I'm thinking, we could just build like a pallet fence. I mean, someone's been collecting pallets. Oh, I don't know who did that. So um, we've probably got enough pallets to just make a, a solid boarded fence. And the ground's so frozen that the digs won't be able to dig down until spring. Pigs won't dig down or the digs won't pig down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so before the really bad weather gets here. So if we've got them big extra long ones and we put a nice straight wall in line with that. Yeah. And then... Give it a go. I mean, the snow won't come off the edge here because it will go, it'll go down the edge of the, the roof. So this bit should be... Mm -hmm. They should keep some of the snow away from this Just bit. Just give them somewhere to get out. Yeah, they'll get bigger now. Mm. Them somewhere to roam till they roam to the freezer. Yeah. yeah. Is this it then, Marcus? Finally got to the pig run. Yeah, but this is like make. Have we got make a pig run out of us. <laughs> Have we got a D-nail? No, I'm thinking Debbie. Um, do you think we should be able to like put pallet wood over the front of it without getting shot? But got Etty a gun for the I got it! Nan, Nanny got Etty a gun. Bad Nanny. I got, Nanny got me two guns. Yeah, Nanny got... It just means when he gets the guns, I get shot twice. <laughs> I'm thinking if you drag this round the back, you can get an idea of how much we're going to need. Hello, chicken. This is kind of the state it is in. So we got a load cleared up last time we were building the pig pen, but there's still more to sort. So we're gonna really have to sort it now because obviously the pig pen's going up in the way. So we have got stuff that we have a scrap pile, so that's ready to go. We need to move that out of the way. Um, I'm gonna cut up any wood that's not needed. And uh, yeah, we're gonna crack on. Most normal people go and buy cattle panels or hog panels and then some like yeah. nice tea posts yeah and in minutes they've knocked in half a dozen tea posts and wired up hog panels <laughs> and it's just made like in minutes uh we however not only are we not buying timber to make the panels we're also just like recycling pallets to make pallet wood hog panels once we've built the garage, we can do it properly. Let's get garage first. It's more important. So we've got a nice nine degree day to get on with our pig pen. And I think we've got a load of rain tomorrow. So it's ideal to get outside in the sun and do our outdoor gym. So Bridget's nailing the planks on here 
Marcus is installing the first one. How are you doing it, Marcus? Sorry. Uh, just pressing out this so this sits flush up here. Oh, I see. Adjust them. Look, don't look, tiny new nails. <laughs> What are you doing? Um, take, trying to take this metal um, oh. thing off. Fly, just where it was needed. Claiming black as night. Cloistered in injustice. Dead. In the eye of time. Nobody is losing. couple of screws and some strap around here so that it holds it and uh, I'll put I'll take one of the hex screws out from the shed edge mm -hmm. and then we'll just fix into the shed mm -hmm. so it's quite secure I've just got to go around and pin with some I've got some two foot lengths of re, half inch rebar so yep. if you think this is the bottom edge mm -hmm. what I'll do is I'll just drill a diagonal hole and I'll just pin down so they can't root it up and lift it up. But to be honest, you big pigs are big pigs. And like, if something spooks them and they want to like get rhino out. Yeah, their way get through out. the wall, they're uh, steel, they go over. I've seen them go over five foot brick walls. Yeah. But theoretically, we can. I can just put a couple of fixings in here now and strap that up and then we can just let them out while I do that bit. Mm -hmm. That'd be quite cool. Mm -hmm. And I can potter around and watch them mm -hmm. acclimatise. But um, we can't let them out until we've got some tea. <laughs> That's my job, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> We're not ready, but let's let them out anyway. Oh my goodness, really? Well, I've just got this bit fixed. Oh my goodness. But and you they want to come out. Hey, piggies.
They get annoying, are they? And stinky. Okay. <laughs> unscrewing the latch off the old door so Marcus is going to widen this door and he's going to put a door here where the pigs were coming through but so they can still come out if it's really really snowy outside but he's going to have this door like a foot off the floor so we can still open it because obviously with the pigs there's a lot pigs more mess. snow yeah there's a lot more mess so uh, it's going to open inward so we don't have snow issues but it needs to be, yeah, a lot higher off the ground because of piggies. But hopefully piggies will stay in there and be able to go outside as much as possible. When you're busy growing up, know that I'm right. Here late last night, yeah. and I've done the animals this morning. Okay, I want to show you what I did. Come on, it's on. It's on. yeah, I thought you smashed the lock. Yeah, you lock here. yeah, so and then. And they won't get let, through that, will they? To let them out, <laughs> all you got to do. Excuse me. Hi, Pix. We're coming, Alan. Oh, no, which way do you... Oh. So then... We've got... So you've got a door, door on there, but oh i got to put another door there. Yeah. And we've still got to board that bit up there. Yeah. So that bit's bit's boarded up like that. That looks good though. I'll get there. We've got to go to Halifax today though to get some yeah. stuff sorted. And that's all the wood there. Yeah. That's all the wood to go on that wall there. That's cool. Yep. So, while the parents are up in Halifax doing what they do, um, the chickens and I are going to spend the day cleaning out and mucking out the pig pen or the pig hutch so we can get all nice and clean and head down since everything's been sorted out in the right place. Oh my chickens, they're all having a bit of fun. So the chickens are going to spend the day doing nothing and I'm going to muck out the chicken pig and the pig pen. So. I'm taking what I think is my fifth load of pictures down to behind the polytunnel to a pile to be next year manured or whatever it's called. And oh, Colin is back there. 
Here's his little golem. Um, he's coming. He's following. Are you coming, golem? Come on then. Run, run, run. Quick, 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 quick. Pick up those legs. Come on. Come on, Trotter. Come with me, aren't you? There he is. He likes to get in the pile and eat the lettuce. That, that's his job. That's how he uh, contributes. Isn't it, mate? It's your job, isn't it? You're in the way. Come on, Colin. Get off my ears, Maggie. Get off. Come on, Colin. Come on, Colin. Look at this chicken. Drop out my earrings. Hello, Colin. You made it. Yeah, Christmas would have come first otherwise. Wouldn't it? Huh? Hush bitch. I'm watching you. Hello, who's your snail? Little nap, little nap. Is that hard work running after us? Is that really hard work? Oh, come on, Chubby. Get your legs on a move. It looks super cold. What have you done? Well, I did a little surprise for you. What have you done? <laughs> Here, take the light. Where are we going? Is there a goat? In the pig pen. The pig pen? What are you doing what? in the pig pen? Well, the pig coop, really. Well, keep you quiet. In and out. Go on in then. Oh, wow. Oh, who's got a poo in it? Is that a moat over? <laughs> Which one of you? <laughs> <laughs> they're all over. Yeah, they've been rolling and playing that all evening. The longest, longest ramp. Oh. Coming out, Gollum. You've got to wake up first. Gollum. Where are you, Gollum? He's in some. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Look, look. Jammed it in. You jammed it in, just cut it yeah. in tight? Yeah. How did you cut the thing with the. Handsaw. <laughs> a handsaw? Yeah. Oh, well done. The, I've been with these ones all day and they love their backs. So you should see the dirt that comes off them, look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It looks amazing. Throwing your hat to get out. Oh, yeah, I've got my hat. Must be your coop. Yeah. Baby, that looks really good. Do you have.